Okay, earn problem. Earn problem. Oh, that didn't come up very good. I drew it too high. Earn problem. So you have earn one and earn two. And in earn one, you have so many red balls, right? 15 red. And how many reds in earn two? Uh, 13. 13 reds in earn two. And we're going to use green instead of white. How many white balls do you have? Seven. Seven white balls in earn one, and three in earn two. And these are white. So, your question is what? What's the probability? Oh, let's, so that, that's what you know. And then what else do you know is that if you, you flip a fair coin, right? And if you get heads, you draw from earn one, right? If you get tails, you earn, you earn from, uh, draw from earn two. Therefore, heads and earn one are like the same thing. In other words, you can think of flipping two urns, and the earn one comes up, that's like coming up heads. So when it asks you what's the probability that you get heads, what it's saying is, what's the probability that you pick from earn one? Okay? So now what's the question? Uh, suppose a white ball is selected, what is the probability that it Okay, so a white ball is selected. So if I selected a white ball, given I selected a white ball, that's right. So we're going to say heads. Okay. But I'm going to make this a little easier, and I'm going to erase that heads and put earn one. Because heads is earn one. That's, that's the first trick of this problem. Okay? You gotta associate earn one with heads. So when it asks for the probability of heads, it's asking where, what's the probability that you drew this ball out of earn one. Okay? So now we use so we said probability of what? What do I write? Um, Yep. Good. Then the probability of white given Absolutely correct. Over the probability of white. Right. So logically, logically what we're asking is um, I can think of this two ways. I can say, given that I drew a white ball, or if I draw a white ball, what then is the probability it came from earn one? So I have, so I can say, what's the pro? Let me ask you this: What's the probability? So we're going to have to answer this in a minute. What's the probability I draw from earn one, regardless of what color that ball was? One half, right? Because it's a coin flip. Okay. But now I have another. I have information that I didn't have before. I'm telling you that the ball happens to be white, so I'm giving you some additional information. Now, what do you think the probability of picking from, that you pick from earn one? Okay. So there's two ways to think of the problem. What's the probability that that ball you selected came from earn one? That's the way to think of it. Logically, what it's saying is, out of all the possible scenarios or ways to get a white ball, what's the probability? That it, that uh, it came from her. But either way, it's the fact that you pick the white ball. Now, what is the probability of selecting a white ball? But once again, the practical way to do it is to say, what's the probability of that white ball? That's really what 
So let's do the problem. We already have part of it done. What's the probability of getting a ball for one? One half, because it's a fair coin toss. What's the probability that you get a white ball if you were selecting from earn one? Seven out of 22. Seven white balls divided by the total number of balls, which is 22. Divided by, and this is the tricky one, this was the hint I was going to give, what's the probability of getting a white ball? And you have what? We're only one, 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 one. Okay. So what most people did, this is the example I gave in the class, is that what most people do is they add the total number of white balls, in your case it would be 10, 10 plus 3, and then they divide by the total number of red balls, and they say, okay, because this is just white, this is independent of the earth. Yes, that's true, but that is a different problem. That's if you put them all together. But you got a coin toss somewhere around here. And you're not taking that into account with just adding those two together. Okay? So what you need is another way to write that bottom line. And in fact, there's another way to write the base theorem entirely. So I'm going to give you like two ways to go. Okay? The first one is, what's another way to write the probability of what? I can expand this and say, this is the same thing as the probability of white and something plus the probability of white and not something, right? So what might be useful here for me to put in there? I can have white and red, but that's not going to be totally useful for me because now I'm introducing another thing here. I've got urns, I've got white balls, now I'm going to introduce red balls, maybe that's not the best way to go. Let's try a different, simpler way and say, well, I got white, and what else am I just dealing with in this problem? Urns. So I'm going to have earn and not earn, or in this case, earn one and not earn one. Of course, not earn one, it's just simply earn two, right? So now I'm going to write that down here. So let me write it out theoretically first. This equals probability of earn one times the probability of white given earn one divided by the probability of white and earn one plus the probability of white and not earn one. Okay. And now I'm going to kind of come back to this theoretical part again and I'm going to say I can rewrite this thing here. I can rewrite instead of having this and I can rewrite it like this. Using the product rule, I can say this is the probability of um, earn one times the probability oops, times the probability of white given earn one. That's this, right? I can write this intersection at using the product rule plus the probability of earn one, I'm sorry, not earn one, times the probability of white given not earn one. Do I have that information? Do I know the probability of earn one? Do I know the probability of earn two? Yep. Do I know the probability of getting a white ball if I selected it from earn one? Yep, that's what was in the top. Notice this first this, this first product is exactly what's in the middle. You'll always see that. Okay? Second thing, what's the probability of getting a white ball from earn two? Can I figure that out? Exactly. So now I'm going to rewrite this over here like this. One. Not earn one, which is much. You'll find that both in the book and in my notes that I have posted, you will see this form of base there too. 
And for me to write it a little bit better here, why don't I do this to tie in everything to the other notes? I can write this as the sum of probability of earn i times probability of avoid given earn i, where i is equal to. If you look at your notes, at least in my notes that I've posted, you'll see us you'll see something that looks just like this in the denominator over here. This is simply a rewriting of this. And I think if you put the numbers in here, it's good. And this is what I meant by when I said in class, rewrite writings properly of and this is another way to do it. That's what I had. Okay. Or rewrite Bayes' theorem, and in the book and in my notes, you see both these. Okay. Clear. You're welcome.